Kelly and Allie. Yay. The first time we did this, we said cooking in the kitchen, but the funny thing is we haven't applied heat yet. I don't so know if that really necessarily constitutes cooking. We are assembling in the okay. kitchen today. Okay. This is an awesome recipe that I found, and it is for lemon fat bombs and it's going to be awesome. So what I love about this recipe is there are very few ingredients and it's really easy. This is all you need. Half a jar of this coconut butter. Artisana? Yeah, that sounds right. If that's how you would say it, I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> so I use artisana and the reason is the ingredients, oh, here it is, raw organic. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. Raw organic coconut. That's why I love this brand. All of their nut butters are delicious. And the ingredient is always just the raw nut and that's it. So yay for artisana, I hope I said that right. You're gonna use seven ounces and this is I think a 14 ounce container. So half a jar of this. You also need organic coconut oil. A lemon, we prefer organic. Um, this is just a regular medium sized lemon. A recipe that I found said to use like one or two tablespoons of the rind of a lemon. I'm gonna make it really easy for you. Just do the whole thing. This is what I use is a lemon. It's for lemon, but you can really use a mini cheese grater also. I'm gonna let Kelly do that. That's lots of fun. And then you also need these little mini baking cups and I buy the natural paper version. And that I think is it. Step number one, I have a jar that I've already used. We are going to start by emptying all this in there. I'll let you do that. Oh, Vanna? Yeah. Just step to the plate. Go for it. Okay. You see, this is even faster when you have a friend. <laughs> is it supposed to be that tough it to is get hard. out? Yeah, use your muscles. How you doing? <laughs> this is taking longer than I thought it was going to take. Do you need help? Does it look like I need help? <laughs> Am I sweating? Usually when I do this, it doesn't take so long. <laughs> do you have help? No. Oh, I just do it by myself. Oh, okay. Well, I can assure you this really isn't hard. <laughs> it's appearing to be a little bit harder right now, but I okay, uh, look, like this. And then you can just around the bottom. So when I first found the recipe, it said to soften it. <laughs> No. Well, that would have helped. No, oh. I mean, you have to get out of the jar first. But you can soften it at this point. But you really don't have to. Like, it's never been an issue until <laughs> recently. Now, you need a quarter cup of this stuff. Which this is, I, I don't know if I want to sign up for this one. You can do it, because this one's really soft. Look. You want a bite? No. Come on, no, come on. No. Quarter cup. And this is very greasy. That's close enough. Mm -hmm. All right, you can put that in there. That's our term of measurement, close enough. Close enough. Close. I like to clean as I go because I like my kitchen to be neat. That is a really, really... If my husband is watching this, he would disagree. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the really fun part. You ready? <laughs> We're good! Kiss it up to heaven. Oh, look. <laughs> Where are I have to <laughs> Can you see that? Those are my lips. I'm the lemon. That's, that's organic lipstick, right? It is organic lipstick. So we could really eat that and it wouldn't be an issue. We could eat it. Important tip, be able to eat your makeup. Most of it came off. <laughs> kind of like when we did our uh, charcoal <laughs> tooth video. Got to check that one out. Okay, so be careful. You know what? I'll let you do this one. Really? Yeah. Kelly has a habit of hurting herself. <laughs> we'll just leave it <laughs> sharp, sharp objects. Sharp objects. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? I forgot an ingredient, shame on me. I forgot it because I don't always use it, but I am going to use it because my kids will eat it if it's just a little bit sweet. This is um, stevia, and these are uh, sweet drops. You can use zero to about 15 drops of this. I usually use like five or six. Here we go. I feel like we need some mari mari mariachi. <laughs> How do you say that? I don't know. No, no. I I need a sombrero and it's really like, hey, yeah, okay. hey, hey, hey. That's legit. I love fast forward because it makes my really deep voice sound a lot higher. <laughs> do 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 do. 
<laughs> do to do. Look, can you see it? Ooh, oh, wow. that's, that's good stuff right there. So, no, that looks like a teaspoon. Really? Allie okay. doesn't do much cooking. Apparently, my visual measurements are not all <laughs> that accurate. According to Kelly, but apparently term, yours are. That's the term close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Hashtag close enough. I don't like to measure and I don't like to read. I don't like to read and I don't like to measure, truth be told. Not this anyway. So recipes, if there are too many ingredients or you know what is a deal breaker for me? If there's even one ingredient on the list that I do not know what it is, I'm out. Yeah. That's it. I'm like, what? Capers? Huh? I'm out. <laughs> Many moons ago when I, I had a recipe that called for capers and that was it. I'm like, forget this. I walked around the grocery and I was looking for capers and I couldn't find it. I finally had to ask somebody. He didn't know where they were and I was just so frustrated. Where are capers? Well, maybe just... somebody can tell us where we find capers yes. in the grocery store. If anybody is watching this, <laughs> there could be nobody on the other side of this video. Don't put capers it's in here. It's quite possible. Don't put capers in here. No, but let's talk about what you could put in here. We could experiment. I think nuts might be yummy. Toasted. Toasted nuts would be good. Like maybe toasted almonds in here. What good. about chocolate? Wow, chocolate's good at everything. Dark chocolate chips? You know, you can buy the little mini chocolate chips that are dairy free, and they're like microscopic. To go in our little mini chips. cups. It would be perfect. Our little mini balls. Well, if you put a big chocolate chunk in there. I like my chocolate like a little hug. <laughs> big. <laughs> you thought I was going somewhere else. I, with I that really did. I'm very impressed. It's a family show. And I use the term show lightly because again, <laughs> there could be nobody watching this video. You know what? Okay. It's making us happy. We're having fun. The whole reason I even did this is because, because I need are you fat out? bombs. <laughs> you can multitask as long as you don't shave your the skin off your hands. <laughs> so after you do that, you mix it up. And here's another option for you. Sea salt. Um, the recipe says what? you can put a pinch of sea salt. I know it sounds funny, but it actually, I've done it with or without, and I like it with. And you I actually just do it now. We're using oh. how much? What's our measurement? <laughs> I already forgot. It's about right? It's, it's about right. No. <laughs> and then we can do some of the stevia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why six? Six drops. Because I like even numbers. Oh, okay. I think our measurement tool was close enough. I think that was our... Close enough. That's that was it. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, so Kelly's mixing it with a spoon. I use a fork at the end just to make sure that we're gonna get all of the lumps out. This is where we separate the um, OCD chefs from the non-OCD chefs. And I'm gonna be non-OCD for you. Stop. After you leave, I might have to go back and fix them, but okay. I'm gonna try. Okay, okay so you just mix it all up. This, right? You can see here, I have my little mini muffin cups already assembled on a tray. If you're OCD, you can put this in the refrigerator for literally a few minutes, just a few minutes, to let it harden up a bit, and then you can take it out and make them into little balls, because to me, the term fat bomb, it should look like a bomb, you know, like the cartoon bomb with the fizzy thing that sticks out, mm -hmm. like the acne mm -hmm. roadrunner mm -hmm. bomb, or you can just, this is what I assume you would do <laughs> in your kitchen, <laughs> is you would just blob it, Scoop it and dip it in the cup. So. We're gonna do it Kelly's way. It's easier with a fork. You just take about a tablespoon and you put it in your little cup. See? Oh, that was Aww, so aren't they cute? And uh, is that my right measurement? That's about right. All right I so. usually start with that, and then if there's any left, I'll go back and like put extra in the ones that look sad and small. That's like a heaping, heaping teaspoon. The technical term that I was using was blob. <laughs> A small blob will do. So you keep them in the fridge. Now these are gonna go in for about um, 30 to 60 minutes and then they'll be ready to eat. If I'm being honest, I lick the bowl <laughs> and the spoon. <laughs> Super yum. Lemon fat bombs. So this, um, the amount that we did today makes about 16 servings. One bomb is one serving. And I guess it just depends on what kind of day you're having. Sometimes I have a three bomb day. You know, I mean, Sir, some days are a one bomber. Is approximate, yeah. really, is what you're saying. <laughs> some days it's a one bomber. I woke up feeling pretty good this morning. Honestly, today might be a one bomb day. You know, the kids get off the bus, could become a three bomb day. I don't know. <laughs> the good news is, 
they're good for you and they're healthy and, and they're uh, easy they're easy do you have a spatula no <laughs> may you may you hold this please i sound like yoda hold this may you <laughs> you want to take this little no okay mm. so this is like a half bomb enjoy your fat bombs mm. Are you ready for this I, um, cooking show magic? <laughs> I learned this from all of the cooking shows that I have. In your spare time. In my dreams. Here they are going in the fridge. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Here they are coming out. This is what was left from before. So we have to try one because I want them to see your genuine my love genuine. for these. They go in mushy and they come out hard. Cheers. Toast to lemon fat bombs. Bombs away. <laughs> bombs away. They're good. How easy was that? Seriously. How long did that take us? Five minutes. It, it took a little longer with you trying to get the... <laughs> It took a little longer than expected with her trying to get the coconut butter out. And here's another tip, and this is not a paid advertisement, but it should be, and if the people from ThriveMarket.com are watching, we accept cash. I purchase this on Thrive Market. I buy all of my nut butters on there. The prices are much, much better. You can save sometimes even a few dollars off when you're buying nut butter, because nut butter is not cheap. It's not cheap. Mm -mm. If you buy a certain amount, then the shipping is free. Yay! Yay! Cooking in the kitchen with <laughs> Allie and Kelly. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hey, Allie. <laughs> so, if you wanted to get these recipes, mm. where would you find them? On the World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> Dial up. Let's dance or speak. Where would you find these recipes? You would find them on experiencevibefitness.com. Under Vibe Life. <laughs> that's where you find them. And that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we should do wraps. <laughs> that's assembling. That's, yeah, we could assemble. Yeah. We could roast vegetables and assemble we, a wrap. There are a lot of things we, we could, could do. We could have tuna wraps. You could have a chicken We are going to have wrap. so much fun being in the kitchen with Kelly and Allie. It's limitless, you really. There are no boundaries. You could have a turkey wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you could wrap wheatgrass. Did you forget you're on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, and go. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Take 17. So, Kelly, <laughs> yeah. hold please. I think this entire time I've been off camera.